Hi, I'm Juan. I'm the owner of a chemical company. I've already contacted my financial advisor because of my financial problem with my company. Uh, I took a loan of one million dollar with a flow rate interest rate, and I'm worried about the next year. This interest is gonna be up, and I'm gonna have some risk with paying my loan. So I need some managerial flexibility to reduce the risk of paying my loan the next year. Hi, my name is Suraj. I'm the capital project manager for Aguilan Construction and we are going to be bidding for a large concrete project soon and I'm afraid that with the inflation going high, it's going to cost my company a lot of money. So I need a managerial flexibility that locks in the price of concrete for the rest of my project. Oh, hi, this is Sarah. I'm the stock and bond trader. Yeah, I heard you are a financial advisor, right? Here's my situation. Okay, I got 1,000 uh, share of Microsoft. Yeah, and I just want to find a way to reduce the risk to sell them in the future. Good afternoon, guys. My name is Pedro Pintero, and I'll be your instructor slash financial advisor today. What's okay. your name? I'm Lane. Nice to meet you. Lane, Pedro. Juan, nice to meet you. Juan, nice good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Taraj, good to meet you. Well, I'm glad y'all can make it today. Today, we're going to have a fun and interesting session about financial derivatives. So, today's meeting is going to primarily focus on educating you on what financial derivatives are and offer you some insights on how and when derivatives can be use, useful and valuable tools for managing risk in y'all specific uh, financial derivatives are too complicated to understand? Well, good question. Financial derivatives, usually when people think of these, they think that it's a very complex subject and very hard to understand. But the truth of the matter is that although they, derivatives may seem complex, their fundamentals are quite simple to, to catch and understand. Okay, well, let me explain what financial derivatives are. A financial derivative is a contract that derives its value from an underlying asset or reference rate or index. Well, what exactly is an underlying asset? An underlying asset is uh, what we all know of today as being something of value like a stock, a bond, or a commodity. So, how about an underlying reference rate? Yeah, an underlying reference rate can be the interest rate on a bond. Or loan? Yeah, or loan, uh, the interest rate on a loan. And what about the index? What what is the index? Um, an index, an index uh, gets its value from a stock exchange company like a S&P 500. All right, so. Let's go further into financial derivatives. There are four common types that we all know of today, and those are forwards, as we have here on the board, options, futures, and swaps. And today we're going to be talking about forwards for a Sirachis case. So how exactly will this forward help me to reduce my risk? So forwards for today, forward agreements we can use in your situation. What it is, is it's a contract that commits one party to buy and one party to sell a given quantity for a fixed price at a later future date. So for our case, the way it will help you is you be, a, you be the party to buy. You go to the supplier and say, I would like to uh, contract so many cubic yards of concrete for a, a specified price and the supplier would agree on a reasonable price and in the future y'all can you would deliver the, the supplier would deliver the concrete for that price so what if the price of the concrete falls so well in that case that that would be a loss for you and the supplier but for our situation here which is in the next year or two we can reasonably predict the interest 
the prices of concrete pretty reasonably. So it'll be it'll be in both yours and the supplier's favors. Oh, this is good. Yeah, that's good. All right, so moving on. Next, we're going to talk about options. So you see here, options we're going to be is going to apply to your case, Lay. Okay. In options, how we can use options for your case to manage risk is we'll give you the choice to to sell your stocks in the future. And just briefly, there's two types of options. There's call options and put options. What's the difference? Call options, they're the options to buy. Put options are the options to sell. So in your case, since you already own your stock, mm -hmm. we would be doing a put option. So in the future, you can have the option to sell your stock. First of all, let, let's identify some characteristics. Okay. In this deal, you're, you're going to be considered as the buyer, and I would be considered as the seller. The buyer has a right to, ex to exercise um, the right to sell, mm -hmm. and I have an obligation to buy from you. Okay. So right. you want to buy it? Yeah. I'll send it to you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll uh, and that would work good. But the thing you gotta consider is that when we write a contract, I would charge you a fee for each um no each shares. Oh yeah. I, I it's gotta cost you money so you can have the option to sell when you want. Well well let let let's do this. If say your shares went up by a hundred. Okay. And you decided you wanted to sell because that's a you can be making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Well, then you can exercise the right to sell, and I would have to buy from you. Okay. And you would win on this. You would make a lot of money on the situation. But in in the, in the other words, mm -hmm. if stocks went down forty five dollars. Oh, that's not what I expect. No, that's not good. So you can exercise not to sell, but your fee still applies. But you didn't exercise your right. Okay, so Juan, in your case, you you currently have a floating interest rate from your loan that you took out on your co on company. And the way swaps r works is uh, practically we're just going to take your interest rate payment, monthly payment, and swap it with someone else's. All right, so let's get into more details. So right now you have a, a floating interest rate payment, yeah. right? On one million dollars. One, on one million dollars. Yeah. So you're worried about interest rates going up in the future. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we do is we find another company that has a similar position where like company one, two, three or XYZ would have an interest rate payment right now. They would have a fixed interest rate payment, say ten percent. And but they invested their investments is in a on a variable investment that they made. So how could be beneficial to the other company if they are going to take a floating interest rate? Okay, so their investment is dependent on the interest rate, the market interest rate. So that means like if, if interest rates go down, company XYZ loses money. If the interest rates go up, they gain money. So their, their, their profits are tied to the interest rate. So if what we can do is we can swap y'all's two, and and we'll you can have a ten a ten percent fixed interest rate for your monthly payments. Okay, makes sense. So now you don't have to worry about interest rates going up or down because you're fixed. Your interest rates are fixed. And the other company, well, like I said, their profits will depend on the value of the interest rate, whether it goes up or down and they won't affect them as much. So they w this would be a better deal for them. So all you're doing is swapping each other's monthly interest rate payment. Good deal? Yeah, good deal. I hope this meeting was beneficial to y'all. Y'all have any questions? Yeah, you call Dr. Demjanovic. Okay. He's anytime. available anytime in the night or morning. <laughs> oh, okay. Got <laughs> it. Make a for you. Yeah. All right. Well. I'm glad y'all came and I hope this was educational and, and helpful to y'all and in the future we can meet again if y'all have further questions. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.